Hi, I'm Bishop Kirby Clements. I'm Pastor Sandra Clements. <laughs> and I want to speak to you briefly about some prophetic insights I think the Lord has put in our heart for this year, 2011. Mm. 2010 was a very challenging year, even the year before that, some economic <clears throat> crisis and difficulties. Some people have been laboring hard without a lot of productivity, and some people have, when you've done things so long without profit, you have a tendency sometimes not to want to continue to do it again. The Lord has been speaking to me consistently because I think prophecy is transcending. Some things He speaks one year, it transcends all the way through the next couple of years. One of the things He's promised me, there's going to be a time of jubilee, that is the forgiving of debts, the resolving of certain conflicts. The second is a promise of the productivity of labor. That is, there are some things that we've been doing a long time without profit. He promised if we will continue, if we will continue and even be more creative, we'll find profitability. He said also there's going to be the profitability of our children. Uh, I believe the Lord spoke to me that there's coming revival in public education in America. We're going to learn that our schools will not just be war zone. In fact, uh, we were in prayer meeting the other day and a, how can you say, a proverb came up to us. Pick up books, not guns. Pick up books, not guns. Pick up books, not guns. Mm -hmm. That would be something that would have an emphasis in our schools. And then he made a promise of spiritual and practical wisdom and guidance. Yeah. We need insight from the Lord. This would be a year redefinition for some of us, a reassessment of some of our core beliefs and our core values. This would be a God year. I know every year is the Lord. We can say this is the day the Lord has made, but this is the year the Lord has fashioned. So I want you to anticipate some wonderful things this year. There'll be challenges. I hope that you can always understand that faith works by memory. Memories are just like money. They buy hope and confidence in the future. If memory, if you carefully, history is a teacher, the future will be your friend. So I believe that the Lord has spoken some very challenging things. There'll be some difficult days ahead. Uh, our economic situation has not yet come to an end, but you have to access this one thing. God has been faithful. The word of the Lord has been like a strong tower. He has kept us, He has sustained us, and He promised that He will. He'll give us creative insight and energy to discern. And if we can subject our feelings and our emotions to principles of God, I promise you, it will be the basis of faith and hope. So this would be a year not to get nervous. This would be a year not to be irrational because, hear me carefully, desperation is the catalyst for irrationality. It's a year to remember the great things that God has done. And as you remember the great things that God has done, it helps you in making decisions when it comes to the future. Is that any word? Yeah, my word is that there are a lot of people who are saying a lot of negative things about our world. But I want to be a redemptive prophetic voice. And I want to say what God says about our world. Mm. He says, God so loved the world, not hate the world, that he gave his son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And then he says, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved or rescued. So I'm going to say, discern the prophetic word. Believe the prophets that speak redemptively and those that speak against what God has said, ignore them. But believe the prophets, the scripture says, and you shall prosper. We've been living in a year of reformation of clarity for the last five years. Don't be shocked with all the strange philosophies and doctrines and ideology and weird things that come out. These things are necessary. Paul said to the church at Corinth, I hear that there are heresies and divisions among you and these things must be in order for that which is approved might be made manifest. This is a year when there will be more clarification of things. This will be a year where there won't be confusion. There will be a lot of teaching, edification of the body of Christ in terms of the mind, in terms of the spirit, in terms of the body. We're going to learn new things about health because God wants us to live longer. That's going to be an emphasis on the age and aging because we need to understand something about the connection between generations. A lot of insights going to come. Our young people will begin to surface even more. You're going to find them more and more involved in aspects of ministry this thing. And I like to say something about the internet and about the, uh, this social network that we're seeing. I think we got a little bit off course in the use of that because we, uh, we talk about frivolous things. It's something that can be a mighty tool for God if we understand it. We can use it to communicate divine truths and revelations around the world. Because, hear mm -hmm. me carefully, Amen. everybody has a computer just about, and everybody's either on Facebook or some type of Twitter. website. So I promise you this year, what does the word say? And every eye shall behold him. Mm -hmm. We end that day. Every eye shall behold him. This is a year God has made. Kirby Clements. I'm Pastor Sandra Clements. This is a God's year.